really not going to be able to see much of a difference. But I finally broke down and got an electrician out here. I have electricity in my house. My whole house has electricity now, finally. In case you didn't know, this whole room had no electricity. And uh, we had like pulled, my dad and I had pulled all the outlets out and like wire nutted them and stuff for them to be safe. Cause we didn't know what was going on. We couldn't figure it out. So yeah, this is really exciting. I have uh, my Ikea lamp can run off of both batteries and plug in. I just plugged it in. There was an extension cord that was run all the way around the side of the house to plug in that lamp. Lamps just plugged into the wall. I used this outlet to vacuum. It's really exciting. So basically what we discovered, all of this is an addition. Um, that's the original homestead. We thought that the electricity came in outside for the addition and um, then it came and ran in through here. However, the uh, bedroom has always had electricity. That outlet has always had electricity. It was just this section that didn't. So what the electrician found out is that this switch is actually where all the electricity is coming in. And actually they had the whole room on this switch. So this switch turned on every single outlet in this whole room. Um, and, and it was all wired wrong anyways, which kind of makes sense for a pot farm. Uh, maybe they had all their grow lights in here and stuff and they would just turn them on and off. Regardless, this switch now does nothing. We're, this is not the aesthetic final solution. This is just, it's functional. I can do, I can make things pretty and figure out what I want to do and stuff later. But anyways, this switch still controls the um, light that's on the porch. But yeah, I have an outlet there, 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 a double outlet there, an outlet there, an outlet there, and an outlet there. Can you tell it was a grow? Pot farms, they just, you do, you find weird electrical stuff. So that's half of the battle. The other half of the battle is that there are exterior outlets and those are still not working. They're coming back on Monday with some more supplies and we're gonna get those working. But then I won't have to run an extension cord through this window to use my washing machine. How great will that be? I just cannot wait. And I have laundry I need to do, but I'm gonna wait. Like, I don't have to do it yet. And uh, there's no reason for me to run it through the window if I don't have to. So, yeah. I didn't do it. This is the second time that I've had somebody come out and work on my house. First time to put that door in. Although I replaced the door myself. But yeah, framing it out and getting, the, getting it all framed in and everything, I didn't do that. Uh, and now I've had an electrician come out for this. And that's about it. There's a freaking black widow in this window. Oh, it's not a black widow, it's an orb weaver. Oh, the other thing is that on this nightstand, I had a little power bank, a portable power bank to charge my phone when I was trying to be bad and lay in bed all night on my phone. <laughs> um, and that can go away. I actually, I need, I literally have to get a phone charger though, because I only have one, and it's uh in on the desk. So I need a second phone charger, one for over here now. I don't know. Maybe it's a bad idea to put a phone charger by my bed. Maybe that's just enabling me. Also, I got a new phone, and I have a lot of battery power on it. So I, I'm not really having an issue with it anymore. My old phone was like desperately out of battery. It barely had, barely lasted any amount of time. So anyways, that's what's been up with me.
there's power. But clearly there's not, or not enough. It's not tripping, because I know what else was on the circuit. It works. The um, GFCI outlet was tripped for some reason. It didn't re-trip after I started it, so I don't know why. Maybe the electrician left it that way, I don't know. I'm not gonna look a gift horse in the mouth because uh, I really need to do laundry. <laughs> Alright, well it looks like I got one. You're not the little guy I thought I was getting. There's a bigger one I had hanging out with me all day yesterday. Literally slept right there <laughs> instead of going in the cage. I'm wondering if he's too big to feel comfortable to go in. Um, but this little guy is gonna go get dropped off in the desert in a pile of rocks somewhere. <laughs> I'm sorry you feel so sad. He looks very upset. I'm gonna put him back in the shade till I'm ready to go. So Teddy was um, barking all last night. He finally gave up, basically. Um, but... <sighs> I woke up at like, I don't know, four, and I like looked out there cause I figured, oh, I must have, must have a mouse. I must've caught him. Um, so I went out there and looked and saw and sure as shit, yeah, I, I did catch the mouse. Um, and then I went back to bed and I had this crazy dream um, that my dad was here helping me around with stuff. And he was like inside, um, like working in the bathroom or something. And like the the mice trapped in the um, trap were like attracting all these snakes and there was like a dozen snakes and like like they, they were getting into the house and like I'm like dad there's a rattlesnake and it like slithered right past him it was like in the bathtub and there's a rattlesnake deal with it like do something and he's like, what do you want me to do? I think he was drywalling or something. Or putting up tile, I don't know. He's like, what do you want me to do? If I finish doing this, it's going to get ruined. Like, I got to do this now. Otherwise, it's going to dry out or something like that. I don't know. Anyways, and I was like, and then I went out there. And the other trap that I had set had a little baby rattlesnake in it. And I was like, oh my gosh, how am I supposed to get this out without getting bit? Anyways, at that point, I realized it was a dream. And I was like, mm, I'm done. Like, this, I'm turning this tv show off like <laughs> he like just chose to wake up i'm like i'm i'm tired of being stressed about this like this is not real um because i like basically never dream um i i like don't remember my dreams ever so i was like very rarely do i dream and i think it's very rare that i recognize that i'm in a dream but like i said i, I dream like twice a year so this is once this year um a silly little dream about the mouse and some snakes so anyways all right i took them all the way up to the rocks i need to watch myself real good for snakes out here um i'm not gonna walk them too far out i don't think there's plenty of cover right in here it's going to be really hard to do one-handed, I think. Hey, go! <laughs> Squeeze yourself between the branches, silly. There he goes. Off into the wild blue yonder. I feel like Hannah Lee Duggan dropping a mouse out in the desert. There's actually, like, quite a number of studies um, that... Um, if you relocate animals they actually don't really survive um because they're competing for food and water in a place that they're not familiar with um with everybody else who is and um you know there's already other critters in that area and they have to fight for territory and stuff but who knows maybe that guy's like really smart and and he uh he makes it i don't know survival of the fittest i guess um but at the end of the day i didn't have to kill him which sounds bad, but um, he couldn't stay at my house. <clears throat> I'm not gonna let my cars get chewed up. Um, so he's out. 
out way, almost rocks way out there. Hopefully he just has a good little mousy life out there. crazy how much changes in here that's the pool and it was set up here and I, and I want to put it back here again because it's nice to have the shade because most of the time it's too windy to have the umbrella open but like the view is so different I'm not going to be sitting here looking out at nasty holes in the ground and stuff so so exciting well let me go dig out the pump for the kayak because that's the only air pump I have. to be pumping this up. First week of hundreds for the year. By the time this video is up, that was probably weeks ago. Somehow the cover got pulled off my pool and there's a dead bunny in it. Oh no! Well, I'm awfully grateful right about now that my neighbor gave me an extra pump of his so I can pump the water at least um, because I am in a hurry. I have to leave. I, I woke up with just enough time this morning. It's only like 6. I have to be out the door at 6.30. Um, and get dressed and everything so I don't I don't really have time to deal with this um, so I'm just gonna leave this to pump the water out and and empty it and throw it in the house probably I don't know obviously I don't want to sit in the water that the bunny died in um, so I'm just gonna have to pump the water out anyway so I just there's another bunny here and then there's the jackrabbits so if make sure this doesn't happen to them i'm just gonna pump the water out he's right there i don't want to zoom the camera in on him any more than i did but he's on a pitchfork over there i guess i'm just gonna walk him out into the desert as far as i can before i have to leave because i don't want to attract the predators <gasps> i feel awful oh my god these are like my friends you know I'm out here in the desert all by myself. This dog barks at everything. How did he not hear the bunny drowning? Also, how did the bunny drown? It wasn't that deep. He's taller than that. All he had to do is stand on his hind legs and jump out. Like, 
I get it though. Animals, they panic and they try to swim and then they can't and, and then they exhaust themselves and they drown and stuff. I get it. But it's just so silly. It's really not that much water. Yeah, I just, I love watching these bunnies. You guys see them in every video, you know? And I went to go get that hose to dump it and the other bunnies over there, you know? And I can't help but think that that bunnies, you know, like, where's my friend? <laughs> it's stupid crying over a bunny, I know, but like, they're like my favorite, you know? They're my favorite guys out here. I love watching them and I, they're a big part of my life. Okay, I'm all ready to go for my doctor's appointment. Um, I walked him out as far into the desert as I could. I'm late. Hopefully I can make it on time. Um, but there's sidewinder tracks in the desert, which is a little concerning. They're a type of rattlesnake. I don't have many rattlesnakes. I don't really ever see them at my place. I think it's just too wide open for them to feel comfortable. Um, and I've never seen a sidewinder track. I, I never see snake tracks in general because I think my sand is kind of the wrong consistency for it. I see lizard tracks and their tails in the sand, but I don't ever really see snakes. Um, but that's definitely a sidewinder trail. So that's interesting to say the least. I'm already hot and sweaty. Um, pool's in the house so nothing can happen can't blow, blow away and nobody else can drown in it. I got my stuff, I got a pop tart, I gotta hit the road, I am late. Fuck, I forgot to change out of my boots. I'm gonna be so hot today. It's gonna be 110 degrees and I'm gonna be wearing boots with socks. I guess I'm buying sandals in town. Find some cheap Walmart sandals or something. Damn it. Alright, now I'm on the road and not the washboard. I think you can actually hear me. Um, this is going to be the last last clip of it. I'm not going to drag this out. Um, I just, I'm just having a hard time with it because I know I'm the reason. I know I'm the cause. That bunny would be alive right now if I didn't have my pool. Or if I had secured it better. I So he must have just jumped on top of the cover. Uh, but I don't... If he jumped on top of the cover, I feel like he, the cover would have been in the pool. Like, instead of having flown off. There was not very much wind last night. The cover did not blow off. Um, he must have nuzzled up underneath it and flipped it off. And then it blew away in the gentle breeze. And then he jumped in. Is what must have happened. Um... And that's totally my fault, you know, for not having the pool secured. I mean, it was very windy and it didn't blow off itself. Um, you know, I had the straps tightened on it enough that it didn't blow off in the wind. But, you know, evidently something going in and pushing on the rub on the on the side of the pool, you know, it wasn't secure enough for that. I don't know. I just, I don't understand how I didn't hear it. That dog barks at absolutely everything in the night and didn't bark at this, or he did and I ignored him, but I don't even really remember him barking last night. So I'm just, I, just, I have no idea how it happened. I mean, I legit, logically I know how it happened. He must have pushed it up, un pushed up under the cover, the cover flew off, he jumped in, panicked, swam instead of standing, and drowned. Logically I understand how it happened, but like, how that happened, I just, I, I have a hard time wrapping my mind around. It's hitting me pretty hard knowing that, like, it, it's really all because of me. Um, it's, like, the responsibility is totally my fault, you know. It, it's just a animal being an animal. He's not to blame. Um, so I don't know if I'm going to put the pool back out. There's another bunny. I don't want him doing the same thing. If I had a cowboy pool, you know, galvanized, I could put something like plywood over it and then it's like super secure. Um, and nothing's gonna get into that accidentally. But I don't know that that's in the budget right now. I think I'm still kind of in shock and it, and it feels silly to be in shock over 
for a bunny, but um, I, I mean, I'm not gonna cry again. They bring me so much joy, and I put water out for them in the, in the bird bath where they can't drown. Um, and so it's like they're pets in a in a way. I know they're wild animals, but they're all the animals that I see all the time. You know, in in your heart, they kind of become little pets. Thought I said I wasn't gonna cry. Okay, I'm done. That's all I had to say about the whole situation. I need to get it together because I have a doctor's appointment right now. And I hope I'm not late for it, but um, I'm gonna, it's going to be close. Um, and then I have a whole day of shit to do in town. And then I have another doctor's appointment. We're looking at the knee after that injury. Um, it's never quite been the same. And preliminarily they want to do surgery so I'm doing all the stuff for that um, and I, I don't have a surgery scheduled anyways I'm gonna sign off potentially for a little while